Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And on this week, where everybody in America is giving thanks, except for the Native Americans and the black people whose ancestors were brought here as slaves, and, you know, any other marginalized group that doesn't have a thick streak of white puritanism running through their lineage, most of the people whose families burned witches, by the way, are thankful today. What do we have to be thankful for? Well, we just elected a convicted tax cheat criminal rapist whose best friend was a pedophile, and he has said he wants to date his daughter. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. He also managed the pandemic so bad a million died. And we thought, <laughs> everybody makes mistakes. Let's give him another shot. I mean, it's just the most powerful country in the world. <laughs> what could happen? Good game, idiots. However, the dude that bailed us out from the worst time in a hundred years in America had just one bad debate with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. And even the people on his side attacked him. Democrats, George Clooney. By the way, for 36 years, each year they list the poorest man in Congress. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. 36 years. I was in House and Senate, the poorest man in Congress. Never thought myself poor, but I guess came from a typical middle class family. They're breaking your neck. My dad used to have an expression, say, Joey, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck. A job's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about being treated with respect. It's about being able to look people in the eye. You blew it. You're weak. You're not wrong, but you're weak. Democrats. Pelosi reportedly told Biden that she and other Democratic lawmakers worry he's dragging down the party. She also warned him that criticism will grow louder within the party and urged him to make a decision about stepping down soon. You threw a great man under the bus and then used that bus to run over yourselves. I'm Shiva, the god of death. So today, I'm thankful for the four years of rest and normalcy we got from this man, Joseph Robinette Biden. Thank you, Joe. You took over at the height of the worst pandemic in 100 years. Next thing we know, we're all getting vaccinated and the daily death toll from COVID dropped from 5,000 people a day to 81 today. Thank you, Joe. When Joe took over, the supply chain was broken and stores were empty. Joe and Mayor Pete turned the whole thing around. Stores are full and inflation has dropped to the same levels during the burnt umber fat man. Thank you, Joe. And you know what else? 50 states got infrastructure money. Bridges and roads and pipes and all infrastructure is getting fixed. So this Thanksgiving, when Uncle Too Much Turkey tries to destroy the guest bathroom with a bowel that unleashes the trumpets of Gomorrah, know that toilet flush because of Joe Biden. But you can also blame Joe for the roads being so good. Everybody made it to the house. Yeah, thanks, Joe. You know, when you see your 23-year-old nephew with a new car and no college debt, thank Joe. You can also thank Joe for your grandma and grandpa getting cheap medication. They're here for another Thanksgiving. Thanks, Joe. For new chip plants being built and the stock market hitting 44000 Yeah, during the last guy, it dropped to 19000 Thank you, Joe. For killing al-Qaeda terrorist, Ayman al-Zawahiri. For getting us $1,400 during COVID to help get through it all. For keeping unemployment at historical lows <laughs> and the Inflation Reduction Act, which actually reduced inflation. But most of all, Pop Pop, thank you for always being a decent man, for having a great relationship with an amazing woman. Where is Melania? For running for president in the face of a son who had died. For running when you didn't want to. And then doing the job with such professionalism and grace. And then for stepping down when the jackals of the Democratic Party smelled blood. On this Thanksgiving, I am thankful for a leader that did his job well and did it with class, grace, and with no toilet paper on his shoe. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah, it's going to be the last one we have. Holy God. Now what? I'm just waiting. You know what? I'm so quiet. We're all waiting. This Christmas, 
Gather round and feel better about your family while Christopher Titus slanders his. This is the darkest show I've ever written. I want you to know that up front. I am not bragging, I am warning you. If you like Hallmark movies, you'll hate this. There's a couple of bits in this show that will cause what I call a uh, hate clapping. <laughs> you'll be like, that's well written, but goddamn. Watch Christopher Titus' brand new comedy special, Carrying Monsters, streaming Christmas Eve. Pre-order now at ChristopherTitus.com.